friends. Yeah. Daddy duty spending time with the family. Yeah. 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 Come on, good people. Y'all come in the room, man. Let's let's talk. Let's answer, ask me some questions. I want to answer some questions today. What y'all got for me? I'm just sitting here on a Friday evening ready to answer some questions. What up? What up? What up? Oh, hello from Korea. That's what's up. TK, what's up? What up from Detroit? That's what's up. How y'all doing this evening? Wherever you guys may be in the world, I feel like answering some questions. So, what's going on, James? I'm up in here just hanging out this evening, entertaining my dog. Hear my daughter make some noise. New Orleans in the house, Bama in the house. Water from New Jersey, cool, cool. It's Nigel. Sweet, sweet. We got people from France in the house. That's what's up. Chino Hills. I love the sauce you gave your baby brother earlier. Oh, most dev, most dev. Listen, I want my brother to shine. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. I want him to shine too. How do you improve on your overall playing practice? You got to practice, but you got to practice with intent. You know what I mean? What's up from the ATL? That's what's up. South Carolina in the house. That's what's up. Yeah, if you want to improve your overall plan, it's it's a lot of various factors, but practicing with intent, working on your weaknesses, that's the best. I bought a, a tailor. I so said, I'm on a budget um, for a tailor or orange with guitar. Which one would you recommend? One that fits within your budget. And if you get a chance to try it out first, that's what I would tell you to do. How do you balance being the best you can be in family life? Um, involve your family with your music. Like my wife will sometimes be like, yo, we missing you. And I'm still working. I'll be like, yo, y'all come up into the studio and just kind of hang out. Sometimes they just want to be around where you're doing. They don't want to like necessarily like interrupt what you're doing. They just want to be involved. So. You know, you just got to find various creative ways uh, to involve your family, you know, with whenever you're doing your music. Um, how exactly do you approach using a metronome? So you set a metronome. So, so you, know, you have the time one, two, three, four. Then you practice playing whatever your chords or your licks within that period of time. Um, you start it out slow if you want, so that way you can kind of build up to the speed and then place it at whatever the desired speed is. You know what I mean? True. I work on afternoon break. Nice timing. That's what's up. Uh, saw Lambertone P90s for 200. Um, are they worth it? Absolutely. Heck yeah. Have you have you ever seen me play my Jazz Master, the blue guitar? That's what I have in there. I have Lambertone P90s in it, and that thing sings. You know what I'm saying? Uh, can you please play again the sauce you gave your brother earlier? Um, you would have to go look at the YouTube. I mean, not the YouTube, but the Instagram. I'm, I'm down here family time. That's This is me balancing... Like we talked about music earlier. I'm here with my wife, our dog, who is sitting at my feet. My daughter's down here kicking and making. You hear that little thump sound. That's her on the floor. Just, you, you, there you go. Let them know you're in the building. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing. So I'm not playing any guitar right now. As you can see, hands free. No guitar. I'm in the living room. Uh, do you memorize the chords you use or you just feel? So Hakeem, like, you definitely have to recall the chords that you're playing so you know what kind of progression. But like, yeah, I mean, I've learned the chords that I've been playing. I've been playing for a long time. If any of y'all see my Instagram, y'all could go back and see some of my young, my youngin' days when I was playing guitar, like when I was super young. So y'all see, I've been playing this guitar for a very, very long time. Hey, Miss Lady, what you doing? Do, 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 do. Also, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, yo, you should definitely check me out. It's the same handle as my YouTube. It's Carrie Too Smooth. Y'all should definitely check it out. Um, 
I can play what you teach about R&B. However, the feels are totally different. What kind of practice you recommend for the feels? Playing with records, all right? So now that you've figured out to play what I teach, now you need to start playing records. So play along with records so you can start to work on that feel. That's how you start to implement the things that we were talking about. What's good? What's good, Devante? Come to Spain. Listen, I'm coming. I, I would love to come to Spain. You know what I'm saying? I would love to come to Spain. Man, I'm just in here checking it out. Oh, James, you follow me on Instagram? That's what's up. That's what's up. How do you apply uh, what you've been practicing? I play records. So I play along with records. That's how you apply the principles that you're learning. That's the only way to make sure it works, that what you're doing makes sense. No, my new guitar hasn't arrived yet. Listen, I'm I'm on standby for a few guitars that I'm waiting for to come in the mail. Ain't gonna lie, I'm getting real impatient, but I'm trying to be good. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting real impatient. Ain't gonna lie. Uh huh. Let them know. Let them know. That's what I'm impatient. You know I'm impatient. That's right. My daughter, she agrees. I bought a PRS SE. Based on your recommendation, absolutely loving it. That's what's up. That's what's up. I love I love reading stuff like that. Have you um you have a good heart, brother? Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I love my family. Love my family. Uh see you being um man of service. Yeah, definitely. Served eight years. Speaking of man of fact, let me show y'all because sometimes, you know, for the people in the back. Don't necessarily get it. Let me show y'all. I had a plaque built to commemorate my time in service. Oh, wrong light. <sighs> yeah, so y'all can see that. It's my first duty station. It's the unit patch. That was my second and last, and that was my last unit I was deployed to Iraq with. So, yeah. Y'all can see this. Man, chill out, bro. Also, for some of y'all, y'all see these lanyards. Yeah. Jason Derulo. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, man, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Definitely. Definitely. Good things come to those that wait. Man, yeah. I hear you, but like when you pay money for something or you've been told it's supposed to be whatever, you have a level of expectation. So I've got a level of expectation. You understand what I'm saying? I've been waiting for a long time. Six months is a long time. I've been waiting for a while, so I'm ready. What's up, teacher? Uh, what's the difference between Stratocasters and Fender Squires? So Fender Squires is just like a line, like they're beginner kind of models. That's the difference. So that's what all a Squire is. It's just their beginner model of that line. It could be a, a Squire Tele. It could be a Squire Bass. It could be a Squire Stratocaster. That's what it is. There we go. Thanks for your service. Appreciate it. Uh, was Hendrix ever an influence for you? No. Mm -mm. no Hendrix never was. I'm sorry. I hate to disappoint well, I take it back. So, uh, Hendrix, Hendrix, come here, come here. He's somewhere. So my dog is named Hendrix after Jimi Hendrix. That's the only level of influence <laughs> for those. For... I have a PRS SC being shipped today from Sweetwater. Y'all already know when you wait on, listen, when you wait on these guitars to come, you just be at the door. Everybody's like, you know, ring the doorbell. You be trying to check out like, yo, is it? This is it. I'm, I'm, telling you, I'm getting on a few guitars. So I'll be looking at the mail like every day. Like, yo, what's up? Just sign up for Carrie's camp. Welcome to the camp. Yo, welcome to the camp. I play guitar at an advanced level. What kind of guitar would you advise me to buy? So Stanley depends on your budget. I need to know your budget. If you tell me what your budget is, then I can tell you what kind of guitar you should get. Um, I have a Mitchell guitar. Um, it has a little dust. Uh, I mean, listen, if it's got some dust on it, that means you need to you need to start using it. Dust it off and go ahead and start using it. You know what I mean? What's your approach to learning songs that have more than one guitar part? So, Rick's, it just depends. Like, It depends on 
what I'm being asked to do. So first and foremost, if I'm the only guitar player, then I'm going to have to learn both parts. And then if it's especially church, I'm going to have to bounce in between both. That's usually what I have to do. Uh, Froze Dane, man. I didn't hear your answer. I, I don't know what froze. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Jack Pearson plays a Squire bullet. Uh, makes it sound like a 62. Uh, you know, it is what it is. Who's your favorite guitar player? I'm my favorite guitar player, Stanley. I am my favorite. Have you ever heard me play, bro? I'm my favorite. <laughs> Another big hug from Spain. Appreciate it. Uh, we highly value your work. I appreciate it. I did sign up for the camp. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, do you practice acoustic? Like how you practice electric? Branding all the time, bro. Especially now that I'm... Girl, what she you doing? I don't want you to... <laughs> Listen, little baby problems. They trying to Now she's trying to roll over. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I practice acoustic just as much as I practice electric. Sometimes I, I start out writing more of my songs and my progressions on acoustic because if it feels good, then I'll probably switch over to electric. My budget is from 700 to 12. So if I were you, Michael Kelly has some guitars that I would definitely check out that fit in the net. And I'm going to be doing a live on Michael Kelly. So on Sam Ash, I'm going to be doing a live. I'll be posting the flyers pretty soon. But yeah, you should definitely check that out, out those guitars. They fit in that price range. Um, what's the camp? So the camp is a um, guitar community. So you should definitely check it out. Go to Carrie's Camp, K-E-R-O-Y-S, K-A-M-P dot com. If you love the stuff that I teach here on YouTube, you're definitely going to love the stuff that I, I teach in Carrie's Camp. You want to hit that light? Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm dark skinned. I mean, I love I love my blackness, but I want people to be able to see me. Um, you're my favorite guitar player, my hero. I hear you day and night. Sweet, 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 sweet. Nashville in the house. That's what's up. There we go. So that people can see me. Um, how do you know how you're ready for the big show? Um, if other people tell you, that's one of the ways. Or you got to go try your hand in the fire. I mean, like, literally, ask somebody. If somebody's asked you to see if you want to play, that's one of the indications. You know what I mean? A lot of this stuff, is you got to go, you got to jump out there and see. And if, you know, you jump out there and you, you see that you're not ready, that means you got more time to go back in and start practicing. Um, you made me go from a beginner to an intermediate in less than two years. That's what's up, Joe. I appreciate that. Hey, Carrie, have you ever had a gig... Uh, that you regretted playing in, yeah. There's plenty of like local gigs that I was I, I was playing in that I just did not. I really wish I didn't have to do it. But what was happening, especially when I was in LA, there'd be ebbs and flows. So like when you're not out with a major artist, you gotta you gotta pay the bills. So sometimes I have to do these gigs that I I really hated, these bar gigs that I was just like, man, I cannot stand it. You know what I mean? So that's one of the things I had to do. I have an Ibanez guitar, uh, giving me. Given to me, it says, but I believe it's more for rock genre. Uh, will that hold me back? Uh, Joshua, uh, honestly, it could, but you can learn all the principles you need to, and then whenever you had a, an opportunity to trade or sell it, then I would definitely do that. Um, who do you think is the best guitar teacher without counting yourself? Bruh, like, no, there's nobody else. Nah, I'll take it back. Uh, I'm sure there's some great guitar teachers out there in the world, man. I mean, I don't know. I mean... Marty Schwartz is pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? He's pretty cool. Do, 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 do. Um, ba, ba, ba. I was wondering, can your wife play guitar? Bae, can you play guitar? <laughs> <laughs> That's your answer. She could do a lot of things that I cannot do. You know what I mean? So she can draw. She's hella talented like she's starting a clothing line so matter of fact if y'all go on instagram y'all need to follow cat and island co cat with a k you know what i'm saying they got clothing that's gonna be coming out for the whole family i'm sorry it's cat and island on instagram i want to make sure i'm getting it right because i want to get in trouble you know what i'm saying make sure i'm plugging you right it's cat and island on, on instagram okay you should definitely check it out they got really dope clothing uh, for the whole family that's coming soon but y'all should definitely check it out i rock some of the apparel our daughter's one of the models. Like, it's super dope. So, I'm telling you. we. I mean, the whole family t is talented in different ways. You know what I'm saying? Even our dog. Our dog knows how to play fetch. Let them know, Hendrix. You know how to play fetch, bro. Are you want to get in on this, Island? You trying to get in on this? 
Oh, you know how to kick your feet? See, you know how to kick your feet? You know how to roll over? Yeah, girl. Super talented. The whole family is talented, you know what I mean? Man, that minor seven is tough. Um, I continue um, with the beginner master classes, even though I can't um, bar quite well. It's one of those things is you got to be consistent in it. You know what I'm saying? Like bar courts are definitely challenging, but I would definitely say you want to check out the action on your strings. They may be too high. That could be the problem. There's a lot of different variables, um, but it's, it's great to just kind of continue to keep that committed to memory. Um, ever heard Gonna Mourn by Paul? Nope, never heard it. Uh, see your passion for teaching. It says, really wants me to, to put down. Oh, cool. And learn one day. Sweet, sweet, sweet. What I meant to say is, was it, how do you do, uh, how do you prepare for a gig uh, to the point you feel like you're ready? You have rehearsed it like you know it. Like if you know it, know it. It doesn't matter how big the crowd is or whatever. And you don't focus in on the crowd. You focus in on doing the job. The crowd benefits from your practice. You feel what I'm saying? So you're not playing for the audience per se. The audience benefits from your practice. So the more you practice, the more comfortable you're going to feel. Uh, do you think the R&B will evolve over the next few years? It's been it's evolving. If you go listen to different playlists, you can hear how R&B is evolving. R&B evolved to Neo Soul. To you got chill R&B. To you got vibes. Like it's all evolving. Let them know, Island. Let them know. It's it's ever evolving, bro. You gotta be. Nothing stays the same, man. Nothing stays the same. Uh, would you be able to, to get Victor Wooten? First of all, I'm not getting Victor Wooten because it's a guitar, not a bass masterclass. So that we're not getting Victor Wooten. So I appreciate you your efforts for trying to shoot your shot, but that one is we're we're only focusing on guitar players. Uh, can you talk about a time where you performed? and had an equipment failure and how did you um uh, were you able to, to keep playing hmm i don't think i've ever had an equipment failure but oh yeah so matter of fact i had one pedal board to go out on me so what i did was i took it straight i unplugged and I went straight to the amp and the amp had an amp switch so you're able to go like for certain dirty channels and clean channels so i just i manipulated that in order to do what i needed to do I had no effects, but I was able to do what I needed to do. Um, have you played best part of her and Dale Caesar? Yes, I played it plenty of times. <laughs> After three months of Carrie's camp, bar chords are easy work for me. That's what I'm talking about. Let the people know. Say a lot of for the people in the back, Mr. Red. Um, sweet, sweet. Can you make a movie for famous R&B and soul chord progressions? Can I make a movie? Uh, well, I have plenty of different lessons and videos for that. So if you if you become a member of Carrie's camp, you'll definitely see all that stuff. Um, I will learn the number system. Will learning the number system help me produce? Definitely, because you'll be able to pick out numbers to see which combinations go work re really well together when you're producing things for the studio. Hi, Carrie. I just joined uh, this morning. What's up, Caleb? Glad you joined. Um, any advice for navigating and learning? Use the roadmap. So there's a roadmap that will, will be emailed to you. Use the roadmap because it's definitely going to help you learn how to manipulate the course. Find areas that you're you're not strong in. And I would say focus in on this first. Uh, how do you build a nice tone? I've got a Fender Mustang pedal. How do you build a nice tone? So you listen to your guitar. So the first thing I would do if my guitar is too high pitched, too twingy, then I'm going to roll back the treble and I'm going to probably roll up the bass a little bit. But you want to find that sweet spot. So you just have to really just massage the tone. That's really what you have to do. Um, learn the number system, y'all. Listen, I'm telling you, I live, I preach the number system all the time. I, I live by it. So I'm letting y'all know it is gold. Don't forsake the number system. You know what I mean? Do you ever take influence from genres that you don't like? Um, I, I would say, yeah, I'll tell you why, right? If you've ever heard me like do solos or if you've ever heard me shred, shredding is not a gospel thing. Learning how to play with overdrive wasn't a gospel thing. I definitely learned that from like rock bands or I wouldn't say like heavy metal, but I, I took some of the levels of influence. I'm not a huge rock or heavy metal guy, but you know, um, especially growing up in church, like I took some of those influences, like learning how to find a good overdrive tone and stuff like that. 
um, even when I wasn't really big or keen into pop or singer songwriter music, I learned a lot of different things that I've applied and you know to my playing as well. So, uh, where did you have your guitar service repairs? A spot on um, what's Georgia's spot? What what area is that? In Studio Texas. City. Yeah. It's in Studio City. In LA. Yeah. yeah Studio City. What's the name of his shop Ventura though? Boulevard. Ventura Boulevard. There's a Ventura there's a music? Ventura Music. That's where I go. And George is the guy that serves my guitar. Like him and Yuri, those are like the best dudes ever. They'll make sure your guitar is A1 since day one. You know what I'm saying? Like for sure. So Ventura Music in LA. <laughs> Rock is literally just the blues with different amps. That's that's a way of looking at it. I don't think it's just the blues with a different amp, but okay. I just grew up playing the Ramon style punk and just over the last few years started learning funk and soul. Sweet, 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 sweet. I don't use the cage system because I play more complex chords. Now there are elements of the cage system that you can use but I play more than just three note chords. My chords are definitely more than three notes. So to answer your question, the answer is no. Unless I'm playing acoustic guitar, then I will use the cage system. Uh, if we got in uh, for six months, deal, da, 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 da. Please email support at carry 2 smooth because I want to make sure that I get your information and I talk directly to you. Okay. All right. So first of all, what is it? M-E-F-C-O-96. One thing I don't do, and just so you know, is uh, is if you try to like force me to do something or decide you want to yell at me like in the comments, I know you don't know me personally, but I will like, I, I don't take disrespect and I, I will let you know, I'll call you out real quick and I'll let you know that like, I'm not about that. So just to be, just to be clear, just to be clear for anybody else, like if you're asking a question and I don't happen to see your question, chill, bro. Like, like, just chill, like, because honestly, I'm doing you guys a favor by answering the questions. Don't become an ass and start doing some extra stuff, because that's that's not going to be the way that we're going to go. So, like, just chill, just for anybody else that decides to, like, they want to press, because I'm the wrong dude. I'm telling you right now, I'm the wrong dude to do that to. All right, now that we're done with that PSA, so let's go. Um, tips on getting triads. Um if you take my course, I, I talk about triads and I talk about use triads that you can use, especially when you're playing music, um, that you can use consistently. You don't need a whole bunch. You just need a few to put in your repertoire and you'll be straight. My favorite memory in 2020 was to find and carry two smooth on YouTube channel. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. People have no patience. Uh, that's true, though. You know what I'm saying? But like in this culture, though, like, I mean, I know a lot of you guys really don't know me personally, but I will let you know, like, that's the wrong way because I will ignore the shit out of you for real. Like, that's with the quickness. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Can I send a video of me playing and you tell me what you think? Sure. Send it to me on Instagram. Oh, Miss Lady, I see you holding your little bottle. I see you, girl. Uh, have you ever made a guitar solo for... No. I've never made it. So, matter of fact, just send it to me and I can listen to it and I'll let you know if that's me. The baby is great, man. She's great. She's fine. She's growing up four months. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, back in the day before the internet, you did you had to like learn by ear. That was the that was the way it was. You know what I'm saying? The difference between neo soul and R and B is just the title. So neo soul is a genre that um, some record executives made. It's, it's still R and B. It's just new age R and B. That's really all it is. It was just another way to sell records. You know what I mean? What is your favorite guitar? Uh, makes a model. So I'm waiting on one guitar right now. I'm waiting on this Tom Anderson Raven. I want to see, put that in my hands first before I decide to say that that's my favorite guitar. Um, so right now, um, I have several guitars that I would go to as favorites. I typically like an HSS or I like a Jazz Master, so an offset. So those are typically my favorite types of guitars. 
When is your next gig in ATL? I don't have a gig in ATL, but I do have a gig in Birmingham coming up on the 21st. I'm not influenced by Bobby Womack's playing at all. Where's Carrie's camp? Uh, can I learn how to unlock the fretboard? Oh, where in Carrie's camp? You have to use the search tab. There's plenty of things like, do you know how to chord? Do you know how to solo? There's plenty of ways to learn how to unlock the fretboard. I need to know what specifically you need. So use the search tab in, in, in Carrie's camp. It'll definitely help you out. Just log in. Uh, for the stream, cool, cool. Have listen, yeah. I just listened to Anderson Pack's uh, new single today. It's, it's super dope. I think it's super dope. So can you uh, wrong or right? Can you send me that link on Instagram? My Instagram handle is the same as my YouTube handle. Send it to me so I can just take a tense and listen to it. Tips on how I can improve my R and B playing. Sign up to Carrie's camp. That's number one, K-E-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P dot com. And learn lots of extended chords. Sign up to Carrie's camp. <laughs> but I feel kind of stuck. Sending love from Italy. Yo, sign up to Carrie's camp. I promise you, we'll help you out. Uh, I'll make sure you have everything you need in order to really just expand and grow in your craft. K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P dot com. I love, it says, I know what they are. Learning there. Sweet, sweet. Okay, cool. I'm a bass player and I mess... Um, with how you play guitar. Oh, cool. Can we see the baby? If you go on Instagram, you can see. I, she's all over my Instagram channel. Could you have imagined uh, this format 10 years ago? What was I doing 10 years ago? I don't know. I'm saying I'm 30. I don't think I was even thinking about like stuff 10, 10 years ago. Only thing I was concerned about was trying to get on, and when I got on, was one day giving back. That's all I was concerned about. Hey, brother, why did you start playing? Uh, why did I start playing? Because it was something that I was interested in doing ever since I was six. You know what I mean? That's why I started playing. Who were some of my influences? John Jubu Smith, Eric Walls, Tim Stewart, uh, Spanky Alfred. Do, 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 do. Carrie, is there any R&B slash gospel guitars you recommend listening to for inspiration? Uh, gospel, you want to listen to people like Walls, Jonathan DuBose, Rick Wofford, um, R&B. Your boy, what are you talking about? The thing about guitar is that you can uh, be advanced in one area and a beginner in another. That's where I'm at. Oh, very true. Very true. Like, if you ask me to play country, I am definitely a beginner in country. Can't play country. I can fake it, but I'm talking about, like, legit play. You know what I mean? Oh, you send it on the ground? I'll check it out. After we finish this live, I'll check it out for sure, for sure. Uh, do you get into reggae? Like, I've listened to some reggae, and I know, like, a prominent um, reggae artist, but like, you know, it's not, I won't say it's like my vibe. I can't lie to you. I ain't about to be like, oh, I'm, I'm definitely in the reggae. I'm, that's not me for sure. That's me. You know, wifey, she, she's, um, but you know what I'm saying? That's not me for sure. I was watching through your live performance and I find it uh, so damn cool. Oh. When you put your glasses up right before you let loose. Oh, heck yeah. I got to lock in. So, because I know it's about to be wild, I'm about to tap in. So, I got to make sure the glasses stay secure. So, once I'm finished coming out of that space, I can, like, you know, I can see what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Girl. Why is here so many chords in the guitar that I don't understand? I mean, I can show you how to do it. You just got to become a member of Carrie's Camp, and I got you. In your opinion, when someone is, when is someone intermediate? Um, when they have a basic understanding of guitar, okay? What artists have you looked up to? What artists? I have not looked up to any art. I take it back. D'Angelo is probably the only artist that I've ever looked up to. But now I don't look up to any artists. I'm not, I'm not a, 
I'm at a different phase in my in my career where I don't have to look up to an artist like like I used to back in the day. Um, I'm having problem with the different progressions in certain genres. I only have one four five. So if you only have one four five, you need to sign up to Carrie's Camp so I can help you show you that there's more than just one four five. What inspires me to make music? The passion that I have for the instrument, you know what I mean? Okay, so far you've been a huge blessing on the, for the guitar techniques, thank you. You're more than welcome, more than welcome. Listen, if you haven't signed up for Carrie's Camp, <laughs> what are you doing? King Finesse is like, listen, he's trying, to, he's trying to help you people out. He's trying to tell y'all, if you haven't signed up for it, you need to definitely become a member, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm either, inter Intermediate or advanced uh, when I look at the camp. Oh, really, Caleb? So I want to hear you play. So, I mean, because I'm telling you, like, this is one of the things, and this is no this is no bag on anybody, but I'm just saying, like, when people say they're intermediate or advanced, there's a different level of expectation than I think about. And I want to be able to hear you play to understand if you really are intermediate or advanced, because I will tell you, like, within two minutes, like, where, where you are based upon what you're playing. And matter of fact, we could just do this. So I want you to play the song Best Part. I want you to play it just like the record. But then I want you to kind of show me like some embellishments that you can do in there. That's That'll let me know. What is Carrie's Camp? Carrie's Camp is an online guitar community where we teach guitarists all over the world that want to specialize in R&B, neo-soul, gospel guitar, whether you play acoustic, um, if you've never seen a guitar before, whether you're a beginner, you're intermediate or advanced, we will definitely help you grow in your craft. What genre is the hardest for you to play? Ja hardest for me to play? I don't really know because I, I mean, I only focus in on the genres that I'm asked to do. So I. And those that I've been asked to do, I mean, I'm constantly learning how to master those. I'm very, very good at what I do, but I don't feel like I'm like at the master level yet. Actually, this is embarrassing. I've never heard of you, but I somehow ended up here and I'm thankful for it. So my question is, uh, what is the number one tip you'd give for people starting out to truly enjoy uh, what they're doing and not bog down with all the noise? Uh, listen to a lot of music, right? Find the joys, find the things that are going to motivate you. Being around people that are going to help you to like, you know, stay motivated in this craft because this craft can definitely be get, you know, saying where it can bog you down. And always be open to learning new concepts and new techniques. That's the best way. I screenshotted your message because I'm going to look up. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Signed up. I'm already trying to sign up again and haven't even finished the first one. <laughs> Sweet. I think more in the finger style of Neil, so R&B specific. I'm still learning to create my own stuff. Caleb, don't make me come fight you, bro. <laughs> I just want to clarify, if you're learning a song by ear, the chords uh, you choose is up to your own interpretation, correct? No, not at all. Like, <laughs> that's not how it works. If you're learning a song by ear, you get, you need to play the same exact voicing that are in the records. You don't get to just play whatever you want. That's not how it works, you know what I'm saying? When you're trying to figure it out, maybe initially, but then you gotta go back and find the right kind of voicing. It makes all the difference. Is there a place I can go for different uh, chord voicings in Carrie's Camp? Yes, the video chord library. What up, brother? How do you feel? Oh, what's good, bro? What's good? What's good? What up from North Hollywood? Hey. Uh, you should do an album with Sharky and Melanie Faye. I'm I'm done with, with making albums. I'm just I love y'all, but I'm I'm over it. Like if you never made an album and you don't understand the process and the amount of money that goes into it, I'm over making albums. I love y'all, but I'm over making albums. I do like I'll play vibes during the day, but I'm not, I'll play on other people's records or I'll help produce other people's records, but making albums, I'm, I'm past that. Uh, tips for building pinky strength. Um, become a camper and I'll show you exactly how to build that pinky strength. 
Yes, sir. That's what's up. No ho. How is it like working with those big artists uh, that you talked about in the previous video? Uh, it's cool. Like, I mean, if you come in, it's all about personalities. Like, if you come in with a personality, like, I'm here to work, I'm here to make sure that your show sounds great, there's no issues. And then you don't come in with any egos or whatever, it's all cool. Like, you got to be a good people person. You got to learn how to connect. Because at the end of the day, it's all about relationships. I appreciate your passion for teaching. I appreciate it, appreciate it. Are you still offering one-on-one -on, -one on your website? I don't, I never offered one-on-one -on, -one on my website. I'm a keyboard player and your videos make me want to play guitar. Put that keyboard down and grab a guitar. I'm telling you, you learn a guitar, it's going to definitely change your approach how you play keys. What's a food, or did you mean good, uh, self-teaching material videos, etc.? cetera? Carrieskamp.com, K-E-R-O-I-S-K-A-M-P.com. Miss Lady, are you just sleepy? Just go to sleep. Piano had me sleeping. That's why I bought a, a Telecaster. I feel you. What do you recommend for beginners? Uh, you should definitely sign up to Carrie's Camp so I can show you and walk you through the process. K e r y s k a m p dot com. That's what happens when you start crying. You got you to leave the room. Yeah. Week after week, I told people uh, to join the camp. It'll it'll help advance you. Definitely, for sure, for sure. That's definitely what it is. Bro, I can't stand uh, standard tuning. <laughs> I connect music um, better in D standard. Do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Do what you do. Is my career playing R&B and gospel trash? I don't know. I can't tell you that. I mean, I don't understand why you don't like standard tuning, but, you know, each is, each is own. If you can make it do what it do, then that's all that matters. Bro, your expertise would be appreciated on the camp. Uh, Compa Jam, like, cool. I've never been on that channel, so I would definitely check it out. Cool, cool. Well, let's get it. Uh, send me, send me the information on Instagram. If you play the guitar for her, she stopped crying. I'm not playing no guitar today. I'm, I've been playing guitar. If y'all been to my Instagram, I've been in the studio working all day. I'm, I'm done playing guitar today. So what, what happens is if you make a bottle for her, she will stop crying. As you see, it's quiet, right? So. <laughs> How do you know if your action is too high? If you turn your guitar on its side and the strings are off the neck hella high, then the action is probably too high. Please make a video for your camp with Heavy Mellow. He follows your IG. Uh, he's killing it um, in the hip hop industry as a guitar. Heavy Mellow, I'm and as a as a guitarist in the hip hop industry. Yo, send me a video because I, I need to know who you're talking about. Because I don't know too many guitarists that play in the hip hop industry. I know like a handful, and I've never heard of Heavy Mellow. So I'm not saying that I know everybody. I'm just saying I've never heard of him. So what picks do you use? So I use um, Bog Street picks. I believe it's the purple one. I think it's called the Axe or something like that. That's when I just started using it. I'm going to inbox you about the camp. Sweet. Sounds like a plan. Hey, mama. Do you take uh, special care of your hands? Or are they just battle hard? I mean, my hands are, my hands are soft, bro. Like, I, I stopped doing hard, 
work a long time ago. So yeah, I definitely take care of my hands. You know what I mean? So hands is your money makers. You're gonna take what care of what's gonna make you money, right? Hey girl, you eating? You good? You content now? The great the roadmap is a great tool uh for gauging where you are and where you might oh cool, definitely. That's what's up. What are you looking for? Hello from Bavaria. Bavarian Motor Works. I don't know. A lot of people don't know that BMW, that's what it stands for. I had a BMW. What do you think of Behringer versus uh, V Tone Pedal? I've never played one, so I, I don't have any opinion on it. Hey, Miss Lady. Yeah, we're content. I need you to be quiet for a few more minutes. Don't turn up on me. Thank you. If you're brand new to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified so that way you're always alerted whenever I decide to hop on here from time to time to do these lives. Definitely, for sure, for sure. I'm will reach out to Justice West. You know what I mean? Like so the thing about different guitarists that come on, like I said before, if you've ever watched or been or especially at the end, I tell you all the time, people have different kind of schedules, so I have to wait on their schedules. So it's not that I don't want them to be on. It's like if they have different kind of schedules, I can't make them do something that they, <laughs> they're not available to do. You know what I'm saying? Do you ever favor cheap guitars over the real nah? I'm if you see most of my guitars in my studio, except for one, they're all pretty pricey. You know what I mean? It's just the feel and the texture and the, you know what it, what the gu guitar can do. Ma'am. 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 I don't use any wah pedals. I used to, but I'm I'm over the the wah phase. <laughs> I'm past that one. I don't do that one anymore. All right, I'm gonna take one more question and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna let y'all have the rest of your enjoy the rest of your Friday evening. Make it a good one though. Make it a good one. Do I play other instruments? And that's it for tonight. Uh, yes, I play bass. Besides playing music, what's what's important to you? My family. Um, if you want to send me the heavy mellow, um, send it to my Instagram. It's Carrie Too Smooth, so just send it to my Instagram. Uh, do you think there, uh, do you think there are techniques so that army guitar slash singers can CCM authentically to make them? So yeah, if you want to go from R and B to playing CCM. You're gonna have to play like straight major chords, no major sevens, really no minor sevens for real, because that's not that's what that music is all about. And also too, you need to find like very ap atmospheric reverbs and delays. That's what you're gonna have to do. All right, well that's it. I love y'all, man. Um, please subscribe to this channel. Please click the bell to be notified. Also too, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely do yourselves a favor and follow me on Instagram. Um, it's the same handle, carry too smooth. All right, love you guys. You guys take care. Um, and love, peace, and hair grease. I'll see y'all later.